Hello and welcome to Rabbit Beginner Program. Today is episode 6 and we are going to talk about sketching lines. There are two types of lines in Revit, model and detail. In this episode, we are going to talk about the difference between the two. The model lines are under architecture tab and the model panel here. The shortcut to model lines is L I. Let's try to create a model line. Let's say it is 5 meter in length. The detail lines are under annotation tab on the detail panel here. Let's try to draw a detail line of the same length. The main difference between the two is when I go into my 3D view, I only see one of these lines. This one is my model line. So the model lines are visible in 3D view as well. Whereas the detail line is visible only in the view that it was created in. As the name suggests, the model lines are used as references during modeling. The detail lines are used to add 2D details to your drawing. For example, this is an architectural project where a typical flooring detail is created as a drafting view. These details are created using detail lines and fill regions. You can check whether a line is a detail line or a model line by hovering your cursor over it. Here it has highlighted that this line is a detail line and this one is a model line. You can convert a model line into a detail line by selecting it and using the convert lines tool. So this is now a detail line. Let's go into the 3D view and see that this line is not visible anymore because it is converted into a detail line. You can also convert a detail line into a model line by using the same convert lines tool. Now let's go back to our 3D view and see if we can see it. You can change the appearance of the line by choosing a line style from the list here. You can create a custom line style by going into manage, additional settings and line style. Let's create a new line style by adding a new subcategory to the lines. Let's say this is a red dotted line. Let's change the line weight to 2, line color to red and line pattern to dot. Now this red dotted line should be visible here in this drop down menu. If you would like to create your own new line style, you may pause this video here and follow these steps on the screen. In the next episode, we are going to talk about how to draw different shapes in Revit using lines. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next.